Well, hello everyone, and uh, welcome back to Don't Starve. I am so sorry it's been so long since the last episode. Unfortunately, real life caught up with me, and, uh, well, I was I was too busy to record, or on occasions, because of the heat wave, lying in a puddle of my own grease, going, I want to die. But, here we are. We are... Oh, we're, we're loading the wrong game. We're on day six. There we go. <laughs> we're on day six, and um, well, let's see where we left, we left off, because I can't remember, to be totally honest with you. I know we've made a fairly good start, and that's going to be, help us out an awful lot. And we're going to do, as it seems to work quite so well, we're going to do another three days per episode, and see where that takes us. Assuming, of course, this ever loads. Okay, here we are. All right, um, it's going to get dark in just a second, so we might as well skip the night. In fact, that's exactly what we'll do. I'll see you on the other side. Sun's coming up, and by the sounds of it, we are just about to get joined by some rather unpleasant creatures. So, uh, rather than run away, I've built myself a log suit and a spear, and we're just going to wait for them to turn up, and we shall deal with them. In the meantime, I want to use this shovel to... let's just go and have a quick look at the map here. I'll use this shovel to go and grab as many of these bushes as I can. There's one up there, a few up there, and a couple down here. We're going to move those as close as we can to our base, so that way that that's going to be another easy source of food. Unfortunately, they are going to need fertilizing, as well as the grass. are going to need fertilizing before they will give us anything. So we're going to be wanting petals and things like that to make rot. The rot will add the fertilizer. If we can find some beefalo, that would be great. That would help us an awful lot. Just waiting for these guys to turn up. Oh. Let's... I think we've waited enough. So... Equip this. Grab ourselves that. Where's the. Uh, let's put the spear there so I know where to find it when I do get attacked. So, right, so we go around here and over here there's some more uh, bushes. Let's go and grab those. Ah, uh, here they come. Right, we'll leave our. Backpack there, just get a little bit away from it, and let's go on the offensive. I'm going to take a little bit of damage, but the log suit is going to soak up 80% of that, and there you go, it's over. So let's get our backpack back. Backpack, back, back. Uh, where's there we go? There's yeah. Okay. Lost a little bit of durability. But nothing amazing, and there you go, put that away, re-equip the uh, shovel, let's grab some of these as well while we're at it. So, we've got plenty of resources here, and I think the best thing we can do at this point is just gather it all up, and before the end of the day we'll go and get ourselves some trees as well. Okay, so we've run out of space, have we? Um... Yes, we are carrying an awful lot, aren't we? Okay. 
let's do that and let's eat the berries. There you go. Okay, so seems like an important thing for us to make is a chest because we're carrying stuff that we don't need to at this point. So that's another thing we can do today. Okay, and actually the day is getting a bit long. Let's grab these bushes and then what we'll do is get out of here. So, I feel your frustration, I really do. Okay, he's changed his mind. Right. I'd have killed him, but in all honesty, we don't have room for his drops. Let's not bother. There's that last bush. That'll get us started. Let's get back to uh, let's get back to base. And on the way through, let's get ourselves a few trees as well because we're going to need the logs. We've only got six. Uh, we're going to need at least twelve to make ourselves a chest. I said plant. Thank you. Plant that one there. Okay, so... Yeah, let's get ourselves a little bit more organised. Uh, we've got to start concentrating on winter. It's day seven. We've got, so we've got 13 days still to get... The, uh, winter preparations. I want to have plenty of food organized. I want to have um, yeah, as much stuff as we can. I need some heat producing stuff quite desperately. And we're also going to need um, yeah, some just the basic bits and pieces like crock pots, drying racks. And there goes the sun. Okay, plant that one as well. Uh, that's 15. Okay, that's enough wood. Here we are back at base. Um, okay, so let's uh, let's start off by making ourselves a chest. So we'll put those somewhere. Drop those gears. Okay, so. Well, Building structures, rather a chest. So we'll put that one there, I think. Grab these. Right, that's going to give us nine spaces to store stuff in, so we don't need gears all the time. Uh, there's no need for us to carry them about. Don't need a crank thing. And oh dear, we are down to one flint. That's a problem. Definitely don't need nitre. We don't need that until the summer. That's it. That's flint. That's flint. Let's combine those. There we go. That's given us another slot. We don't need the gold. And we don't need to carry those uh, seeds around with us. Okay, let's go and um, check the traps. It should give us a nice little store of uh, meat stuffs. Now, it's been pointed out to me that you can kill the rabbits on the fire. No. Sorry, not doing that. <laughs> uh, I feel I would feel absolutely awful if I was to do that. To be honest with you, there you go, let's just use up the last of that. Uh, set that trap. Are we gonna have time to get another one? Set that trap there. Oh, actually, it's quite light. So let's just go and uh, sort this all out, shall we? So, bunny murderage, like that, okay, and let's grab this trap, okay, 
Okay, I think we need a little bit more light on the situation. Here we go. And that will allow us to put the last of the traps out. Where's the last one? There it is. So that's given us a nice supply of meat, which is great. We use some of that monster meat. It's a shame we couldn't carry any of the berries, because that would have helped us as well. But let's uh, make ourselves something to eat. So one, two, three, and a monster meat. There you go, that'll give us meatballs. And it's already morning. Okay. No wonder we're hungry. Right. There you go, that's given us uh, enough for the next round. Okay, so we'll grab that, and because we are really hungry, let's eat that straight away. Excellent, and let's cook up the next one. There you go, get that cooking. That sort this out for the next meal. Okay, uh, this is all a bit messy, so let's pick up these guys. We'll neaten that out in a minute. And let's get some stuff planted here. Uh, stale petals, so that uh, are not yet ready to use this fertilizer. Oh, we just lost our shovel. Let's make another one. Like this. Okay, so let's start off by planting these saplings. Uh, one there. There we go, that looks a little bit neater. Sounds like we caught the first bunny of the day. Greg, that's happening. And... And it looks like we just caught the second sapling of the day. Uh, sapling? Rabbit of the day. Okay. So let's get some of these planted. Ow! And this, of course, is the problem of walking around with a shovel on. Is you accidentally dig stuff up. Which is not a good thing. Right, where are they? There you are. Okay. Let's plant you there, and get this the right way around. Where are my bushes? There's my bushes. Do you, uh, I, don't know, I don't know if you notice, but the bushes are brown when we plant them. That's because they need fertilizing before they start producing stuff. At the moment, not really the end of the world. But um, I want to get a good stock of stuff before... Uh, it gets too late in the year, and uh, that means, really, we want to get those bushes fertilised. Uh, uh, I know a lot of people make farms at this point, including myself, but I want to try avoiding that this time around, because I find that uh, just going for the bushes gives you a better immediate return on foodstuffs. So, okay. Kill the wave, kill the wave. There we go. There's another meal at least. Well, a meal and a half to be precise. Which is great. If only we could get some carrots to go to the rabbit stew. Right, so let's have a quick look at what we got here. Okay, so we have more bushes up here. And I actually feel that we should go and head up to this uh, cemetery. There's a couple of reasons for it. First of all, we have high sanity, which is good. This, and the second one is that uh, if we come up here and have a quick... In fact, let's do it this way. Okay, so down to food. There's a crock pot. Oh, there's an ice box. This is what I want to make. Oh! We've got the stuff we need for that already. Excellent. Okay. Right, let's go and get ourselves some wood. What the ice box will do is keep our food fresher for longer. And 
that means we don't have to worry about our food rotting, going bad. And oh, oh we had another axe, excellent. No wonder we were running out of space. So we get one more tree. We don't need it, we've got enough wood, but that'll help us keep the fire going overnight. Thank you very much, I'll have that. Let's get back to base. Grab this stuff on the way past. Okay, we are going to make ourselves an ice box. So we're going to need this gold, and get gear, and so we need a board, and then that should. If we go over to the alchemy engine, this is an ice box, and what we'll do is let's put that down there by the food. Seems the obvious place to put it. Right, so we'll grab that, grab that, and then let's stick the food into the ice box, which will just keep it for longer. Wonderful, we are a step likely and all likely to survive. Next thing I want to do is, because we're making so much meat, uh, the next thing I want to make is drying racks. So let's go there. Oh, sorry, food. Right, so drying racks require rope, charcoal, and sticks. So how much rope can we make? Two. Okay, so that. Should allow us to make. Well, okay. Oh, sorry. We need three rope. So the answer is we are going to be able to make one drying rack. Let's let's get some fire going because it's just about to go dark. And now, let's make a drying rack. Okay, and those can go. Well, they can go here, I think. Okay, so let's grab ourselves some meat put that to dry. Store that. We'll grab that, and let's get ourselves another meal going. So three of those and a carrot. That'll make us some meatballs, let the log on a fire. Okay, right, so we're gonna skip ahead till morning. I'll see you then. Okay, here we are again. It's morning. We have our rabbit drying, we have some uh, meatballs on the crock pot, we'll leave those be. Now today I just want to go grab some resources, so we're gonna go and visit the uh, a lot of these uh, tufts of grass. Let's go and grab that uh, that bush. We'll head up here and get some wood, I think, as well. Um, what we need to do now is... Well, the most important thing at the moment, I think, is getting either beefalo, so we can get some poop, or getting ourselves lots and lots and lots of uh, flowers that we can rot down and then we can use those to get our bushes growing. So, there's another few plants. Let's grab those on the way past. I'm going to be dropping these off in daily lumps because what happens is that the uh, effectiveness of these things average out. So, if, you, um, if your stuff is rotting down and you pick up a fresh flower, then that flower um, reduces the general overall rot, which is not a good thing for us. seed on the way past. Um, take off the shovel otherwise I'll be digging these up. I don't want to dig these up just yet. But, um, getting this stuff together is going to be good for us. More flowers, excellent. Another bush, we'll have that bush. Flowers. 
Let's equip the shovel quickly. Grab this. Ooh, flint. There we go. That's something I wanted quite badly. So, that's good. Have that, unequip the shovel. More uh, grass. What's over there? Okay, so there's flint over there. I think we should go investigate. So let's do that. Lovely carrot. Excellent. So each one of these um, plants we're pitting up, our sanity is pretty high at the moment, so fortunately we don't need to worry about that. Uh, but that just opens it up and allows us to make, uh, make rot, and rot is going to be very important for us at the start of the game. Uh, we get all, all that stuff fertilized and growing by our base, then we don't actually have to walk very far to get resources. And time we spend not doing that could be spent doing other things like making new inventions, plotting world domination, and well, many other things. I'm thinking of taking up crosswords or jigsaw puzzles or something like that. I mean, I could do this. And why not? Uh, but what I'd love to see, in all honesty, is a load more flowers. And the game's of course giving me rocks, because that's the way this game works. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, we've been here. I think I'll have that axe though, thank you very much. Okay, let's have a quick look and see where we are. Right. I'm thinking that having a quick wander up there would not hurt on account of us wanting. Well, if we can find beefalo, they will be very useful to us. So let's see if we can find them. Starting to wish I'd pack some food. But, never mind. We've got berries and a few other bits and pieces on us. We will survive the night if we have to. Ah, thinking of berries. That'll do nicely. Uh, evening coming. Let's proceed us ourselves of campfire. Don't put it down just yet. What we'll do is we'll finish the day. We'll follow the road. This is good, good to get our an eye on these resources. And there's an eye bird. Perhaps we can take him on later on. Yeah, later on. I said later on. Uh, unfortunately, the roads run out there. Uh, let's take a little bit of time and just see what we've. we found here. Okay. If I had a bit more inventory space I'd uh, take a hammer to those. Right, this is all new stuff. Let's see what we look at this area looks like. Keep on running in this direction. World's smallest swamp there. Uh, it doesn't look like there's an obvious grassland in this direction, is there? But we've looked, we've learned, and we've gained loads and loads and loads of stuff, so I'm, I'm quite happy with that, to be honest with you. I don't think we're going to make it to base, 
so we'll just but if it gets very close to being dark where are we oh, actually we might make it mm, possibly not yeah I don't think so all right so I think what we'll do is we'll put the fire down here and tomorrow we shall go down here and we shall have a run through this graveyard here I think be nice if we had a bit more space in our inventory but we'll survive all right okay so build a campfire there we go let's toast up these berries get our hunger back up excellent right that's gives us a good shape the the sun has set, but it's a full moon. So it's not quite a full moon. Okay, All right. That looks like a full moon. We should be able to see in the dark, but we can't. That's obviously not a full moon, is it? Okay, let's leave it there. And tomorrow we shall start another episode. Which, um, well, if I put this one up on Friday, hopefully you'll see the next one on Sunday. So until then, I've been Simon Parsons. This has been Don't Starve and a strange man with a long beard doing a dance around a campfire. So until the next time, thank you and good night.